Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Dr. Hassam and you're me back with another amazing video. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to do the second stage surgery of an implant. So first of all, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have uh, made multiple videos uh, regarding how to open your dental clinic and synopsis writing and uh, also clinical videos regarding crown cementation of an implant supported crown. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you gain access to the dental implant uh, in the second stage surgery when after three to four months of healing has passed and you have determined on uh, radiograph that the implant seems to be also integrated. So now is the stage when you gain access to the implant by removing the soft tissue over the implant and place a healing abutment or gingival formal so that you get a good contour of soft tissue which will mimic the natural tooth when the crown is placed. So there are three ways to gain access to the implant in the second stage surgery. One is that you raise a full mucoperiosteum flap. Uh, that is a bit aggressive, but sometimes you need to do it, especially when you uh, know that the bone has grown over the implant or you need to perform additional soft tissue or hard tissue and grafting. So you have to raise a full thickness mucoperiosteum flap. Second is that you play, do a micro incision over the implant in which you do not involve the adjacent uh, papilla of the adjacent teeth. You just uh, raise a small envelope flap, gain access to the implant, remove the healing screw and place the gingival format. And third is the tissue punch technique in which you remove a small circular soft tissue above the implant and then place the healing abutment. Uh, all three procedures can be done. It depends on uh, what type of case you have. So if you have an excess of soft tissue, uh, you can use the tissue subtraction technique, that is the tissue punch technique, so that uh, the amount of soft tissue in that area reduces, so you can fabricate a more aesthetic looking crown with the minimum uh, pocket depth. So the first step is that uh, we have to identify the location of the implant. Generally when, they, when a single missing tooth is being replaced, you know that the implant will be in the center of the uh, mesiodistal width of the edentulous space. But you have to make sure so that you remove the tissue right above it. So the first step is that you give the local anesthesia to the patient and when it's effective you uh, insert a probe into the soft tissue till you hit the implant. Uh, with experience you would know the difference between the tactile sensation when you hit the bone or the implant because implant is metal and the probe is also metal so you will feel a cling sound that uh, occurs when metal to metal contact is made. So with that you get an estimate location of the implant and then you take a radiograph with the probe inserted into the soft tissue so you can adjust the uh, position of the probe uh, accordingly. So once you have found the exact location, you insert the probe and uh, mark the area and uh, then remove the soft tissue above it so to gain access to the uh, implant. So this is how we will uh, insert the probe into the soft tissue area and uh, I am already feeling the implant in this location. By slight movement, I can feel the metal to metal contact uh, in the probe. This is the tissue punch that I am going to use. Uh, it is available in multiple sizes. So you decide the size. It must be equal to or slightly larger than the implant that you have placed. And these are uh, trephinated soft tissue cutting drills that will remove the soft tissue above the implant. Although the soft tissue does not separate, uh, it will cut. You have to use the tissue forcep to pull the periosteum uh, of the implant surface. Mm. 
After the implant has been exposed, uh, you have to remove the healing screw so that uh, gingival former can be placed. So I am going to use the implant key to remove the healing screw. So now I am going to place the healing abutment uh, over the implant so that the soft tissue heals uh, beautifully around the healing abutment. You can see that the shape of the healing abutment is round so there will be a good collar of soft tissue around this healing abutment. You have to tighten it uh, properly so that it does not get loosened during the uh, two weeks that you give to the patient for healing but not too tight that it cold welds to the implant. So a uh, firm finger uh, pressure is uh, good to know that uh, it has been tightened properly. So once the healing abutment is placed, uh, we will call the patient back after two weeks for uh, impression recording and then we'll fabricate a screw retained from for these uh, uh, implants. So uh, you have seen that how we expose the implant during the second stage surgery using the tissue punch technique and uh, place the healing abutment so that a beautiful collar is created for the uh, round that we are going to fabricate later. So if you have any query or comments kindly uh, comment in the video below or uh, uh, otherwise, you can contact me. I have given the email and my phone number in the description as well. So like this video and subscribe to my channel and uh, kindly share this video with your colleagues so that they can uh, benefit as well. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.